Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Heart and Soul from AB underscore XY. Welcome back to the channel, guys, and welcome to another Area F2 news update. I added my own sound effects, guys. <laughs> man do we got some new news isn't that funny some new news some updates first of all i want to start off by saying i am not the original discoverer of these updates these are things that i have found on the internet on discord on youtube from other content creators from other people just like yourselves who are going around finding as much information as possible i am here to put it all together compile it in one little concise video adding my twist to it and i want to add something that i just saw on youtube there is a major youtuber by the name of bobby plays he has multiple channels one of his channels is called bobby reacts in that video he is streaming he's chatting with his followers and he reacts to the area f2 trailer you would think area f2 is boring because that's what I thought the first time I tried it out, to be totally honest with you. Like, I I downloaded it. I was like, I don't understand why people like this so much. Like, it's so slow paced. You don't do anything. But once you actually understand the, mecha the mechanics of the game more in depth and start to really play it, it's, it's super fun. So... I'm definitely hoping that it makes a return. I'm at least going to try it out, probably. All right, guys. So that was just a clip of his video. If you guys want to check it out, I'll make sure to put the link in the description down below. Bobby Plays is one of the biggest COD Mobile players on YouTube right now. He is close to half a million subscribers. He does have a very short Area F2 playlist in there as well, if you guys want to check out those videos. Uh, but yeah, those were his thoughts on the game coming back he sounded like he was actually looking forward to it you can tell he wants to get hyped but he doesn't want to get hyped <laughs> okay guys moving on i want to talk about some other topics that i found uh, a lot of you guys may have already seen it but i just wanted to post it here share it with the rest of you guys just to let you guys know that i know i know as well thank you for all of you guys sharing spreading the word letting everybody know what news we actually have on hand because there isn't a lot a couple things i want to talk about is going to be the new logo for area f2 i'm going to post a picture here of the old area f2 logo and a side by side with the new area f2 logo as you can tell they're very similar but slight changes i wonder if the changes in the area f2 logo are indicative of changes in the art direction in the game sometimes games will have a more uh, realistic feel and then you have games on the other side like fortnite where it's completely cartoony i'm not a huge fan of that but if the game needed a different art direction to kind of differentiate itself from Rainbow Six, uh, I would understand that completely. Um, it would be one less thing that Ubisoft can claim. Moving on, guys, I want to talk about IMO's Discord. If you guys happen to check that out, you might have noticed that he always posts and shares as much details as he can. Sometimes even before he shares it in his videos. But he did post some pictures or shared some pictures of code from the game. Uh, apparently these are upcoming things if you're a, uh, a coder if you know about game development and programming uh, these might mean something to you you might be able to understand them a little bit better but apparently these are some options that are, that may be coming to the game things that we haven't had in uh, the, the previous version of area f2 uh, so if you guys can make sense of it let me know um, and then furthermore he goes on to post that he has shared all the information that he has been allowed to share so you know what more can we do but wait he is getting a lot of questions and he has tried helping us out he is working with us he is working with his representative at kuka and it seems like his kuka representative has gone offline no more information there it looks like we have been cut off okay so if that isn't how you build hype i don't know what else you you give someone a little taste and then you take it away what does that make you do oh man you start fiending for it you want more but unfortunately it looks like we're all cut off at the moment um, now it's just going to come down to uh, whatever little tidbits we can find here and there but yeah but that's uh that's pretty much the information that we have on the discord all right moving on to some other news here another note that i want to talk about is the kuka website currently the kuka website just shows coming soon before the kuka website went down it allowed you to register your account to your area f2 but now that website is down, it just shows a picture of a smiling, 
I think it's some kind of smiling pig or smiling dog. Sorry guys if I'm mistaken, I just don't really know what it is. It kind of looks like a porky pig to me. I think they temporarily shut the website down for some behind the scenes maintenance. I'm pretty sure they're just typing in all the code, getting everything ready, everything set up, and they're just gonna have everything revealed the day that the game releases. At least that is my opinion. So on the same note of Area F2's websites, I wanna talk about their social media accounts. Area F2 social media accounts have been inactive, no little leaks. Um, and yeah, that's kind of weird, kind of strange. Uh, I don't know what's going on with their Facebook. Will they update that as well? Their Twitter, their Instagram, will any of that receive any kind of updates? They just look like dead, abandoned accounts. I find that kind of strange that their social media accounts haven't changed. They haven't uh, let any news out, but I'm assuming it's because they're getting everything behind the scenes ready and then boom, one day they're just gonna hit us with everything and it's gonna be freaking crazy. We're all gonna go bananas. Okay guys, and speaking of Area F2's social media, I did try to slide into their DMs. <laughs> so I did DM the Area F2 Instagram. Uh, here's a message that I sent them. It says, hi, when are you guys coming back? I'm trying to report, <laughs> I'm trying to report updates for a YouTube video. Any response would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for your time and no response. <laughs> I, I shot my shot and I missed, all right? But I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll get a response later. But as of now, as of, as of the, the recording of this video, I have not received anything back. Uh, I'm just gonna try one more time. I'm gonna send them one more message. And send. <laughs> all right, guys. Maybe uh maybe that second message will get them to respond. If they, if not, then I, I don't know what else to do, guys. Maybe I've embarrassed myself now. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video here. Those were the latest Area F2 news that I was able to compile for you in this one video. I'm very excited. I can't wait for this game to drop. I can't wait to play with you guys. I know a lot of you guys are excited and we're all fiending. We're all searching. We're reaching for more information. But this is all that I can find at the moment. Thank you to everybody that's put in the hard work and found all those little clues, those little Easter eggs that wouldn't have been possible without you. All right, guys, so if you guys like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. If you guys want to stay up to date with the rest of our videos, including Area F2 content, please make sure to to subscribe all right guys i'm gonna head out now i hope you guys stay blessed stay strong stay healthy and take care of yourselves guys talk to you guys later peace